Hi guys, Rhonda Winstead here with you, or those of you that have been following me for a very long time, Rhonda without an H. Every once in a while I'll throw that in there. Um, it's good to see you. So today what I have been working on is my Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, Volume 3, 1, 2, 3. <laughs> And this is down the garden path, and I want to update you on what I have been doing. I hope that you are well. I hope that you are happy, and it's just great to be with you, and I hope that you'll enjoy spending a few minutes together and that you can get your stitching out and work on that, or you can get your scrapbooking, you know, do your journaling, whatever it is, or just you know, just have a cup of tea or whatever and just relax, you know, and uh, let's just chat for a few minutes. All right. Okay. So let's get to it. Change the view here. And we'll change the lighting here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's actually do it this way. Okay. So here's where we are now. So, as I left you last time, I have been stitching my gate, I believe, or I had it stitched, I don't remember. Um, but we did some, some flowers around it. And since you and I have visited last, uh, you can see that I have been doing the seed stitch. I kind of with my lavenders, I've created a bit of a path here, I suppose, if you will. Um, and I have added to the flowers, the wildflowers. Um, I've added a bunch more. So I've been French nodding <laughs> like crazy, like crazy. And since you and I visited last, this is where it ended, and I have also added some more fabrics here. Now, this I have not put the tool on top yet, which is just a very thin, well, let me grab it, and I will show you <clears throat> what I've been using. This is tool, and uh, let's just. So it's very, very thin. But what I have been doing is just taking a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I have just kind of, with a glue stick, just kind of uh, tacked it down a little bit. And then I have been uh, just doing a running stitch to hold it together. I have not done that on this side yet and I'm not sure exactly what I want to do and so I'm just kind of leaving that for now um but I also this is also added this little green bit and this is this is actually I think part of a handkerchief that uh that I had so I still have to continue on that but we're just going to ignore that for now <laughs> and I also I ended right here as well and so since you and I have chatted I've added some backgrounds and I have done the running stitch this time I did it all one direction and I did it with just a cream color um, and I, I I just really like the look of that uh, as a background. It just, I don't know why, but it just gives it so much texture, you know? So here's my garden so far. But first of all, I mean, come on. Have you ever seen a, such a cutie, cutie, cutie sheep? <laughs> This reminds me of the, oh, is it the Serta that have those, those ads they used to do that have those darn cute sheeps, <laughs> sheepies, sheeps, I don't know. And so I added one of those 
and I have done a seed stitch around and I added some more wildflowers to blend in with my wildflowers here and then and it, and this little sheep I don't know what his or her name is maybe I'll have to do that but they are eyeing those flowers and I'll tell you pretty soon <laughs> if somebody doesn't come and get them those flowers are gonna be gone okay so here we have some carrots and uh, you know I've seen so many others of yours that have been just amazing and I wish I had seen some earlier I, I would have copied your <laughs> I would have copied your ideas one of the ones that I, I loved that I would if I did it again I would have all my carrot tops loose I loved that you know it's to give it more texture there anyway so we've got that and then we've got a climbing tomatoes and in between the climbing tomatoes is a climbing I don't know what it is it could be weeds it could be beans it could be I have no clue but I thought it was fun <laughs> so it's just there and then and then she said I have this fabric that looks like sand and I absolutely love it um I I bought it for a specific quilt a beach theme quilt and these are some leftovers and then I put some furrows in uh, with the dark, you know, with the darker brown. These I have not stitched down yet. These are just uh, glued, just with a glue stick, ordinary glue stick. Um, and this is what we're working on. This is what we'll work on today. I have done some corn. I hope that looks a teeny bit like corn. I, you know, it's obviously <laughs> it's hard to get it right but I think it looks kind of and then here we have clumps of I don't know could be cauliflower or or radishes or broccolis or cabbages or I have no clue but it's something delightful I'm sure it tastes delicious I wouldn't have anything in my garden that isn't delicious. <laughs> oh, okay. So, to get started, let's, this is what we're working on. I think these are like, these look like lettuce, little heads of lettuce maybe. I don't know. Or, or broccoli or, or whatever you want it to be. Okay, so let's just continue and again, these are some hand dyed silks and woolens that wonderful friends sent me and I am still using them. This is banana silk, plant-based fiber, hand spun and hand dyed. And I love this color. I love the color. I love everything about this. So what I have been doing, oops. Let me get my rubber finger and my thimble. These are my two tools that I use all the time. I know a lot of people don't need them, but I do. So we'll just kind of go here in the center. I'm going to bring this over just a tad bit because I think we want four of these guys. And... I am doing, what is it called? Hang on, just one sec. And this is especially for those of you that are, are new. Um, in my first Journal of Stitchery, let's see. Turkey work. This is the turkey work. Where you just do the loops and you can either leave them loopy or you can um, cut them, trim them. And that's what I have done. So 
we're just doing loops and I know in the actual turkey thing that you can you can take another stitch to kind of help secure that but I'm not doing that I am just continuing to do some just some little little stitches here guys so what have y'all been up to the last few days? It's been a few days since I've been on here. And I have to say, I am pretty upset right now at the postal system because a very sweet friend and customer of my Etsy uh, she has been very wonderful, very supportive. She got one of those boxes that I recently um, put on, getting rid of my, my stuff, remember, my stuff. And of the box, and they're priority mail boxes. They're not, they're sturdy boxes. But it was all torn up and had water damage. And she said that so much of it smelt like wet dog. I mean, we all know how that smells, right? I just was devastated that, you know, you, you do your best to try to make sure everybody's going to have a good experience and they're going to enjoy, you know, and I just, uh, anyway, so we'll see how it all works. I, of course, I, of course, kept the receipt and, and she's taken lots of pictures and we're both pretty upset at the post office right now. And of course I told her I would replace things as need be to, you know, as much as I can. Some things I can't, you know, I just can't replace. But anyway, so that's my, that's my grumble. <laughs> that's my grumble for the day, guys. Sorry. Oops, that went down too far. Okay, now we'll turn it over. And I will, well, wait, let me just make sure I've got plenty in here. Eh, I think so. So what have you been working on? Are you enjoying your February? Do you do something special for Valentine's? Do you... Do you do cool things for your kids or grandkids? For your sweetheart? Significant other? Any of that kind of thing? I, hubby and I, have gotten very lazy in the last few years, if you will. We have, I think last year for Valentine's Day was one of the first times. Now, let's see. Do I want to... Let's look at that. I could keep it loopy-doopy, and that's kind of fun. I could do like... Eh, let's go ahead and cut it. We will just come in and cut the little loopies. So anyway, when Hubby and I were first married, course we did you know Valentine's was kind of cool and special and we'd I know we had on occasion we'd gone to like a, a bed and breakfast and one time we took a trip to the coast and you know it was all kind of special and 
And one of the good things about growing older and enjoying your spouse is that you don't, you know, you don't need all of the, you know, the, the frilly, frou-frou, I don't know, the extra. One of the bad things about growing older is you think you don't need <laughs> any of the extra frilly, frilly, frou-frou things. <laughs> In other words, my friends, it, it should always be, we should not, you know, we just shouldn't take advantage of each other. We should, we should be good with each other. Look at that, how quickly, isn't that a fun little cabbage or lettuce or whatever? And it's got some fun, see how that pops up, it's got texture going on. Okay, so we will. Take this thread off and that will go in my thread bin that I make fabric out of later. So let's get us another bit of yarn of this delicious yarn and we will continue. So last year, Hubby and I decided that we needed to be more more adventurous than just be like a card or you know happy valentine's day i love you and go try to find some place to eat that's not completely booked solid which usually uh valentine's night it it usually is harder to get into those places and we actually And he called for reservations at a place that's a little harder to get into. I know, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, shocking. And it was fun. And I do remember the movie that we saw. actually remember it because we don't go to the, the theater to see movies very often. Not that we don't like them, but we just, we don't think about it. You know, how sometimes... People are just movie buffs and you keep track of everything new that's coming on. Well, we don't. And, and of course, we have Netflix and we have Amazon Prime and we have, uh, we've got Roku. And so a lot of, quite frankly, um, they make it really easy to view things from your, from your home. And, of course, Hubby has his favorite armchair and it's a recliner and but I will say that nowadays when you go to a movie most most of the theaters have those uh, recliner uh, chairs too so it's like wow <laughs> come a long way baby from the days you know when I was a girl back in the dinosaur age, but uh, yeah. So anyway, we saw that it, the movie was Dog, and it was, I thought it was very good. It was very heartwarming about a, a vet, and and I'm, I'm tender towards vets. We have a son who served in the Marines and have PTSD. From that and have uh... anyway I'm just very tender towards that kind of thing look at that I think we're just gonna pop on over let's just since we're just to go in here instead of cutting that right at this moment let's just continue the loopies Let's continue the loopies. <laughs> so
So anyway, that's we did that, and I actually scrapbooked about it or journaled about it, which is also kind of mind-boggling because I love making journals, but not so much on the actual documenting. Not that I don't enjoy it, I just... I don't know what it is, honestly, you guys, the roadblocks uh, I have with the actual journaling part. I feel like, uh, I don't know. And I've done a series on, you know, kind of finding your own voice and keeping your own style in your journaling and whatnot, be you. And I absolutely believe that that is important for us to do, to be who we are and you know to celebrate 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 you you're important you're worth it <laughs> I absolutely believe all of that but for me journaling has always been difficult I have been a hit or miss uh, through the years and I have several different journals. I was telling uh, one of my sons yesterday, he was, oops, get back on there. He was asking me about what I was working on. He walked through the studio and so I was sharing with him and just got talking a little bit about the journaling. And I said, I have no idea how you guys are going to go through all this, you know, when, when I'm gone. Because you don't get my whole story with just one journal. I, I'm all over the map. It's, there's a little here, there's a little there. There's a little, he just, he just kind of chuckled. But, but it is true. That's going to be an interesting uh, experience, but it won't be me doing it. Now, you know, now I kind of really like these with just the loopy dupes too. So I could have two and two, but then that would look like I just forgot to do it, wouldn't it? Yeah. So if I were going to do the two and two, I would have had this one and this one like this, and then this one and this one like this, right? Yeah. Ah. Let's go ahead and cut. Let's go ahead and cut. And I think I'm just about ready for a new pair of small fabric scissors. I am very protective of my scissors and anybody tries to come in and mess with my fabric scissors they're gonna they're they're gonna know I'm not happy <laughs> I try not to be too 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 big of a boo-boo but you know and I'm better than I used to be. But, yeah, still, you know, person's scissors are their scissors. I watched a, which makes me think of, sorry, I'm going to change, change uh, track right now. Um, Hubby and I were watching, we like to watch like the Food Network and some of those love the British Baking Show. Love, love, love. And other competitions and things between well-known uh, chefs and culinary experts. We enjoy that a lot. And he came across one that's like a grudge match for those that have, for whatever reason, whoops, I'll just take that off, that they have a they want to go up against somebody that has beaten them significantly in an important competition or or like one of them was 
a guy who was mentored for seven years by this guy and the the uh, student had been wanting to go up against his boss for a long time because he felt like he was he was doing all the work <laughs> and his boss was getting all the glory but he you know the boss had taught him so well that you know the food was excellent well and in that one he beat his boss, <laughs> which was kind of funny. But uh, why was I telling you this? <laughs> oh, well, in and out, in and out it goes, my dear. Okay, so what do you think? What do you think? I really, really like that. I like that. So... I think this video is long enough. I don't want to bore you. Um, I'll just tell you kind of what my plans are. And I will continue stitching off camera. Um, I will say that when I did the uh, running stitch, or they call it the canther stitch or something, uh, through here, to do this through this, that took me all day all day to just I it's laborious but I had a fun time I enjoyed it I watched videos I watched I'm <laughs> I'm watching this stupid series that I have watched years before it's kind of like a western soap opera it's McLeod's Daughters but I'm having fun watching it and so I would intersperse a video or two from one of you wonderful amazing artists and then I'd watch some of that and so yeah just keeping myself busy um okay so here we have a bit of a hole and I want to do something here and I just had the thought as I started working here that I maybe want to do a flagpole with maybe a a uh, a bucket of flowers or you know a bucket or a wooden barrel half or something like that there and I may want to do like a leaning a rake or a hole or a shovel something like that I'm not sure so there will be more to come here and if I do a flagpole I think I'll take it clear up here here and then do my flag so that it it uh, is predominantly located on this yellow those are my thoughts right now I do reserve the right to change <laughs> I reserve the right to to change my idea okay one other thing I wanted to show you today before I turn the camera off I also in this piece of fabric that I have, it's just covered with these darling little sheep. And I was wondering if it might be too much if I did something of this nature over here. Um, I would love your opinion. Is that too much if I do two sheep and one? Or should I leave it and, you know, do something else? I don't know. But I've got this ready to go. Um, so, if you wouldn't mind telling me what you think, I would love your idea. I would love your opinion. So, I'll just kind of leave that there. And then we shall come back to the full screen. And we'll turn the, turn that on so you can see me better. Okay, so that is it. I have my PET scan tomorrow morning. I'm a little nervous. I won't lie about that. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. And, and the PET scans are fine. It's, it's, it's not a, a big dramatic anything. It's, it's perfectly good. 
So I will update you on that when I know more and uh, we'll continue to work on this Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. I hope you're having a wonderful time with it. Um, Rach and uh, Sarah, you guys are awesome. I wish I could meet you in person. I just give you both this guy gigantic hugs and your mama too because you learned a lot from from lady for sure all right guys i love you until next video please please have a fabulous day bye bye now